No, it looks like a drop top. Oh, you more furniture. Jesus. That's a lot of fucking flat back. Welcome back. I've got a couple of these units at the top now. I'm not, the main delivery's not come yet, but I think we're going to try and trial fit these now. So I've got the top lockers for trial fit and the um, cable doodah, cable cover for all that mess. So what I've done here is, let me see if I can get it on. It's just got the carcasses up there now. I'm just trial fitting it. It's quite tight to because I've got a cabled out back here, which that's tight up. This is tight to blank top here. Um, not got it flushed back here yet because Jones' bird nest is blocking this edge here. So what I'm gonna do is, see that I can get into that, I might have to open that up a touch. And then these, I'll feed back through here and then back over this beam here. And that should help me then get it back. So we'll see how that fits. Tell you what, them stands, absolute mint as them. So we'll get this trial fitted, see how it lines up and then get some trim on it. Bang some screws in, I think. I mean, that's one side up anyway. That's all um, fastened in now. And all I've done with that one is just reaching up cables through there, through about there. And then what I'll do here is put like a ply board back in on that. And then that's where the fuse box will mount. That's the plan anyway. These cupboards here, little titty fuckers. They're quite neat. That's how I've made it up top there. So I've screwed to the roof. And I've also bracketed them as well. Same again with that one, just want to clean out, hoovering out and that. Whip all plastics out. And then my cables there for the lighting system. I'm just starting this side now. So, just mounting two brackets on that one though, so they'll be mounted to the backboard. And then obviously screw through the roof on that one. So I've got another one to do. But should look alright when it's done that. That's the two main units. I've got the other top locker here for this side, but I can't put that one in yet because these are flush up to the back at band, so they can't go back any further. So then what I'll do is I'll build the shower section then from this going back that way and then I'll see where that locker lines up because I've also got the front one to go in as well hence why I've not put the cable tray on yet because I might need to trim it this end here on that piece just at the end there if it fits, it should fit, the diamond should fit but I think you, I don't know what tolerance you've got with it so I'd rather get this mounted in first and then come back but i know i know the shower's going there and then this side is irrelevant because that's going at uh, this side's going back to the pillar anyway at the back but it's starting to take shape of it i said i was going to put my bed in first but i've not done that yet so what i'll do i'll mount get this locker in first mount the brackets in build the outside frame of the bed and then i'll see where because i might have an issue with that because it's not part of the evo kit the bed it was um, someone else has done it and i'm hoping where the bed falls roughly about here the shower should line up, but it's Jones this in it. You know it's not gonna line up. Got a bit of a nightmare. Just done a dry fit to this uh, aluminium bed. What come with a vat? But then look at the alignment. Bearing in mind, right, the shower has got to come up to this point here. That'd be flush against that one. And look how far out that is. In miles out. Nightmare. So I've not got an alley welder, so I'll not be cutting that and redoing it because it means you have to cut that off, put it here somewhere because I think that's got to be tight. Where that bracket is. And then the air settings are not too bad, but then you'd have to move these, so it's just a little bit of chew that. Same again, that well, that side's not too bad because you're not having to line up, but I think the kitchen eats into that, though, to be honest with you. I think what we'll do with that is it's going to have to be stuck on eBay, I think. You know, I'm in your bed frame, I'm in Bob on that. You have to have a think now what I'm going to do. Right, next job, this Max fan. Stick some seals on it, which goes around the top here. Supposedly supposed to reduce the noise and stuff on that down it a little bit and also stop some of the draft I think you're gonna get a bit anyway because you've got a little gap here anyway on that and then these little bad boys anti-rattle deals and these just go on the edges so the back here on this outside blade just goes on that one there I think it just stops this from rattling but to be fair I've never heard any rattling on it just that reseal that front one as well just got up to it now and it's Looking on the masking tape still on there and the water's gone underneath the masking tape and I saw a drip the other day coming off it so that's just had a redo let's crack on with this one and get this seal on this I'm going to have an issue with because that lid is right at the back there so I might see if I can get it off its brackets there which is these things and these will just push out like that out in there at the back and then I'll try and get the rubs and if not I'll just have to get my fingers in and run it around and see how we get on with that quick simple upgrade just basically seal all around that there at the back 
and then the two ones on the outside there, the rattlers. I'm not too sure why they don't come supplied with seals anyway, but it's done anyway. Another job off the list. Do these screw heads now. No, that's all dropped up. Oh, you more furniture. Jesus. That's a lot of fucking flatback. Right, so guess what's come? Evil order. How the hell are you supposed to know what's what? I'll mix and match. All oh, easier. Jesus Christ. Oh. IKEA flat pack. Whew. Okay now, this is on steroids, this. I've got a clue where it starts. They've got a bit of everything in each box for each unit. Three hours kip off a night shift and walk straight into this. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Right, so we've just unpacked them boxes now. As you can see, there's bits of everything in these. I mean, there's all sorts in that there. That's the shower pan. It's going to be fun fitting that one. Box of crap here. What we've tried to do, uh, George is helping you, babes. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the kitchen stuff there, what we've, um, well, what I think I've sorted out. They sent me two worktops because originally they cut this one out here and they didn't ask for the oven cut out of it. Not the oven, the uh, hob top. But then when I uh, dug into the box more, we found the other one there, the bamboo worktop. So that was a bit of a bonus. The shower we've unpacked. We've got the front panel, two side panels, and a 6mm plied strengthening board at back, but they forgot to include the um, PVC lining for them, I think it is. We'll check that. I've got a lot of more bits in boxes than that, but it's definitely not in there because it should be one big tall piece, and they're the only tall pieces we've got. Then we've got the bits at the bottom of the shower there. Put go in. I sort all that jumbled mess out. Bed boards, bed panel. Um, I think this one's the old red locker one on that, so that's got to be built up. That unit there is part of the bed system at the back, and then I've got a jumble of bits here and all that stuff there. So, as you can see, it's took over the house at the minute. So, I've been told I've got to get this built. Wow, it'll take ages. Are you going to help with George as well? Uh, yes! Yes. Get that done, get all this crap cleared out, and then, uh, fingers crossed, most of it's here. I mean, there's boxes and boxes of screws, so I don't know if we'll have enough of them, but we'll see how we get on anyway. But touch wood, most pieces are here now. The instructions are a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa! As you can see, just a quick example of the instructions. Uh, it shows you a breakdown of the units and that, but I think we're going to be digging around for what little bits of panels and stuff and that, so it's going to be quite fun. Last text screw just be here, cocked up here, doled it both sides, got a bit giddy. Not going to lie, them instructions, because uh, they, they, don't, they don't show all the, the routines to it, you know, going through the screws and stuff. So I think now we're on to the next bit, is building that fascia. Instructions not clear again, so what I've done is put some chocolate blocks on back here. On that and then this long panel goes on here this was in another box on its own so that goes on the front of here i think that's how it goes anyway so we're going to try it now i've got my lovely assistant i can be on it <laughs> and then uh, we'll get this done oh we've got our george as well making a mess haven't we i'm in the mcdonald's destroying the house more like right so this is our unit done now um this is the bit what goes towards the kitchen side at the back of it so that's uh open panel at wheel arch. Box section there, that's supposed to be back to but I'm going to change it and have it slightly different. I'm going to put all my Victron stuff in here and down there so I'll modify the back a bit. Cupboards are in, looking good. The only thing I'm not too keen about is that trim bit there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I think that should have been coloured in or at least edge banded on that piece there. Not because I've done it wrong, I don't know, but it just seems like it needs edge banding. This is the bed board bit attached at the top. That's not fully fastened down yet because I need to get all the extra stuff in it. But it's still got loads of shite over there. And my helper's knackered so she's making tea. And George has give up now. She's, this is her shop. And I've had enough. Just chop my finger off as well. Again. Boxed off now. Tied up for tonight. And build another one tomorrow, I think. Hi, helper. Let's get his edge banding on. That's it. Well done. For this one now, just building this old red locker, haven't we, George? And then we'll go mount it in the cab. So we've got some more units made up here now. We've made part two of the bed box on well, the other side of it. So that was the little one that was in. They're just pushed in, they're not fixed in a minute there. And then the uh, other side. That one's gonna have to be scribed at back because I think it's set up that top board for a pod. So we'll have not that back so we can get that back in a bit further. That was an absolute shit to make because the instructions are really hard to read on that and one of the shelves they've changed the designs on the back section i'll show you in a bit and the door's wider so one of the shelves doesn't actually fit there's no mounting point for it about sending them a little video for that one tell me about that it's a bit dodgy just made the overhead locker now that's just knocked up Dorsey's just helped me then we're going to mount that up here and i think what i'm going to do is get it in place first using them stands and then we'll see where we mark off some brackets we've got these little bad boys here 
that mount it up to and they'll stick or bond to the ceiling or inside that so I'll have to cut out the section in the headliner mount, bond them to the roof and then screw everything up and that should give it a good anchor point then you know for it so we'll get this locker up now and we'll see how this lines up So I think for alignment on this, you've got to get this right up a bit more. You've got a cable cover which comes on here, but there'll be a gap there. So this has got to come up a lot more because big gap here. Might have to cut a notch out a bit more bigger because there's more cables there than I anticipated. Right, so I've got that in place now. The little red locker, best way I can. I've had to trim a piece off here because we've got quite a lot of cabling on this section here. So I've just took that corner out there and got it flushed back up. You can see what it does to here on that one. Then same for this side here, I've got me. 240s running down there so that's quite bulked out a little bit so i've just trimmed a little piece off you don't see that bit because you've got a locker going on this side but one thing i did come across was making sure you had the correct space from here to there because the show is going to go in this side here and that's going to be flush up and that comes to about 810 which is roughly about here dodgy pen to mark and then that unit's 105 and that came just past it so i would have had an issue there because the unit wouldn't fit so i've just trimmed a bit more at that just to get it back a bit Use the props there for hold it up and what i've done inside is these are the mounting brackets what's going to go to the headliner so i've just put those in roughly where it fits the unit and then they'll go in on there so what i'll do is i've marked it off there where it is i'll take this unit back out and i'll cut the headliner back and then bond that then to the roof and, I'll cut, and then put this unit back in again screw them to that and then hold it tight and that should give it good support then on that back edge l bracket under here and an L bracket under there as well and then probably one inside bit as well because I think that there here between that seam there's a rib on that so we might be able to get into that as well so that'll give it a bit more support and then possibly one on this middle one I thought some cables though these bit cut out now what I've done I've just took the insulation out of the way and pulled it all out and then I've got a bit of emery paper and I'm just going to score the inside of it and it gives it some perch on then. I'm gonna put glue stick on. And I'll also do these as well, the brackets. I'll score them which way they're fastened to the van. And then that should give us a good point for mounting. Right, so that's those brackets in now. Put a decent back of these then, stuck them to the roof, and then put the unit in, and then screwed these to it. The unit's pushed up with that. So that's pushing that bracket up against the ceiling now so i'll just let that set and leave them in and that's screwed to that same on that side as well so when that goes off that that should be solid then that'll be a good anchor point for the front bit and then on this one i've got a little L bracket on that one there and i've L bracketed just on these corner edges here on both sides so that should when it's set be quite solid that and it's quite tight at roof as well which is quite nice like. Right, so cable tidy now. This is going to have an LED in the front here. So what I've done with this, just had to trim it down a bit because it was like literally a bug stick um, too long, you know, for it. So factory wiring for the uh, door light, you know, the um, ceiling light, what comes on when you open the doors. I've just wired this up now. So green and red, pause, purple and red into negative there. Just checked out in minus and plus, which size what, so it works. And all I've done with that is wired it up to this LED section here. So that should come on with light. To flip the out switch. Well, shark, there she is. That's a dimmable one, that as well. But it's ideal because it's right above the door that you see. So when that goes into that cable unit above there, that'll come on when the door's open. But you can also turn it off inside as well if you need to. So it's just touch sensitive and then you dim it as well. Just hold your finger on it. It's quite cool, really. So I fed all them through. I'm going to put my um, Osbeam, 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 whatever they call it, on that there. So I've drilled an all in that and I'm going to mount that. Feed that cable through, just mount that one on there. I was going to put all the instrument panels on here, but the bigger, and there's not much meat on that really, to be fair, to get it. And you've not got really much room up here, really, to get that on. I'm pull this off here now so I can get this panel in and have to trim that back a touch. I was going to do the panel, but I don't want to make a mess, so I'll probably just trim this bit off on that one. And then we'll get this screwed up. All right, it's still going off. And then um, that's pretty much that side of the van done when that's on and then we'll tackle uh, that so this overhead cable tray on here see if we can get a good angle on it so you can see what i'm on about on this piece here what i've done i've just held it up with that there and then that piece of wood block was mounted inside here on the roof you've got underneath where the led goes screw mates here so what i'll do 
just check and make sure there's no cables and it should melt in that check that one so obviously there's way cables are in you don't want to be catching your bloody cables and then we'll just screw that up and so that should hold it up and that's how you make my buggers what i've done here i've just siliconed round here i just seal it tight i'll keep this on while it's um, drying and also on this section here as well just tied it in a bit nicer on it and i've fitted the osbeam unit here i've just used them 3m sticky tabs on there so hopefully that should, should hold on to it punch a 13 mil hole through that one and also fitted the led on it but don't do what i did and hammer it and crack my bloody lens there so i'll we'll see what i can do with that but probably nothing really so just be careful when you're putting that in because it's quite stiff going into runners into well to groove bit where it goes but it is looking a lot tired now isn't it just finishes that top bit off really, doesn't it? And then just cut that down for match it, for map of that. So we'll let all them set, let all them go off. And then we'll tackle all this. Trial fit of the old um, bed unit. Just fit on that, me without a pod, just. So that's a bit of a result. I had to trim this one back down as well because I think this top frame comes for a pod because you're about to about trim that all the way down to get it fit in but it's tight on it. Bigger than what I thought anyway. Dry fit there, done. So I'm not going to screw that in yet until I get the bloody um, water tank because with this frame now, the water tank, right, I can actually put the fresh water in this section. So behind this panel here, there's a room there all the way through there for a water tank so then obviously the shower bits can come out this way fill point to the other end this end will probably be a bit service end where you can wash it but once the tank's in once the unit's fastened to the deck then you're not you're not getting that tank out you can service it from like the far end the nozzles and shit whatever they call them the bits so you can service that but that's that's planning away so the waste i think what i'm going to do with that is probably go the t6 they have like a um, hexagonal uh, water tank which in the spare wheel bit and i've seen a design on that where people have actually mentioned on a crafter so i think i'm going to go with that and try that jeez good say to my home i look rough as out don't i think next now while i'm waiting for these go off don't know whether i should build the kitchen Bit, get that done she's nagging me at missus anyway because she wants um living room back and i've got that well I took over at bloody conservatory with all boxes so i think on that one i might build a kitchen get that in place and then i'll know then where all my wires are going to go so then i can start feeding all this through here and then under here that is where i'm going to put my victron stuff now i'm thinking i should have took them bloody studs out because i was going to put a panel in there but see how it fits anyway so the victron stuff's going to squeeze in that and then i'm going to try and get the multiplus in that end bit and then what water to do that shake when it bottom here along that one because that panel pulls off and then we'll see what squeeze in and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn over the like buttons and ring the bell